What's good? There's a common misconception that statement pieces aren't versatile, and that's not true. You just need to know how to unlock their full potential. And luckily for you, that's what we'll be talking about today. Welcome to episode two of What I Wore This Week. Thank you so much, Kate Spade, New York, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be styling a few statement pieces from Kate Spade, New York in multiple outfits just to show you that statement pieces can absolutely be versatile and you can absolutely wear them more than once, even if you've already posted it on Instagram. So let's get started, shall we? Day one. I went to Notre Dame High School today and did a little Q&A with their film program to talk about all things entertainment, the industry, how I started acting, all that good stuff. You could tell these kids were really passionate about filmmaking and I just loved it all so much. This is what I wore. Since I was speaking to high school students, I wanted to wear something a little more casual. I'm obsessed with this knit cardigan from Kate Spade, New York. I love the pattern, I love the buttons, and I love that it has pockets. I am a pocket enjoyer. Now here's where the magic happens. In order to make your statement pieces versatile, you need to pair them with some basics. Otherwise, things will get really busy which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I could absolutely wear pants with a contrasting print and make it work, but that is very advanced. <laughs> and if you are a fashion beginner, we want to get you comfortable with one to two statement pieces at a time. So I'm pairing this knit cardigan with simple low rise baggy jeans. Now I could have easily worn light wash jeans or blue jeans, but here's the reason why I chose dark wash jeans. Even though this cardigan has primarily two contrasting colors, cream and black, most of what your eyes see is black. And in order for this outfit to have harmony, I wanted to repeat that dark tone on the bottom. Another reason is because I'm wearing a neon purse, which is the second statement piece of this outfit. And I don't want to introduce another color or tone into this outfit by wearing light washed blue jeans. Dark wash jeans allow for this outfit to balance out the bright neonness of the bag. I've mentioned this fashion philosophy in a video before, but if I use a quote unquote pop of color in my outfit, I like to have it pop more than once. So as you can see, this bag is very obviously neon, but if you look at my loafers, there's also a neon lining around the toe box. And this just brings the outfit together so it's less of a pop of color and more of a cohesion. It looks more intentional. You know what I'm saying? She's stylish, she's casual, she's cool. She's ready to impart knowledge and inspire some teens. Day two is really fun because I wore two outfits today. Let's start with the first outfit. I went to a cafe with a group of my fellow Filipino creatives and we just did a little catch up and talked about the industry, had a little venting and auntie gossip session. You know how that goes. But anyway, look how fun the outfit is. Now you might notice that there are three statement pieces in this outfit, which makes it a little more intermediate to advanced, but let me explain how I made this work. Let's get into the sweater first. Obsessed. It's so preppy, we got that V-neck, half-sleeve vibe, and one of the most classic patterns of all time, Argyle. And I love the colors that were used in this pattern specifically because it is perfect for spring. To continue this preppy look, I threw on a khaki pleated skirt. Quick fashion hack for all the narrow hip girlies out there, pleated skirts will be your best friend. She will never let you down, she will always be there for you, Invest in a few pairs of pleated skirts and watch your daily style transform. I also have a video specifically talking about how to style narrow hips and I'll link that up in the cards and in the description box down below. Because the primary color of this top is white, I wanted to make sure I repeated that somewhere else in the outfit to bring harmony. So I chose to wear these white crew socks, which also fit in quite nicely with the preppy vibe. Let's get into these shoes. Again, these are perfect for the spring and I love platforms because not only do they give you a little height boost, but they're also way more comfortable than stilettos. And in the spring, you're probably going to be attending more events and special occasions outdoors and touching grass. And there's nothing worse than walking onto grass and having your heels get stuck in the grass. So 
platforms with a chunky heel like this are perfect for spring. So we've already got two statement pieces in this outfit, right? Well, this bag is statement number three. And the reason why this outfit works with so many statement pieces is because the colors and patterns are still cohesive. The pattern on the strap of this bag is argyle and the colors are in the same color family as the top. And even though the shoes have a completely different pattern, the color still matches the green tones in the sweater. When you're styling two or three statement pieces, it's important to consider patterns and colors to make sure everything still looks cohesive. Like, I would say that this outfit is pretty busy, but it's still cohesive. Another note about patterns, you can absolutely mix patterns in an outfit, but in order for them to be harmonious with each other, you should consider their shape. For example, I would not mix argyle with floral. They're two entirely different vibes and it just doesn't work in my opinion. But the reason why argyle and gingham works is because these patterns are both geometric. So if you're going to mix patterns, make sure they're in the same family. You know what I'm saying? After our little meetup, I went to my golf lesson with my mom. Y'all know I'm a golf girly now, and I recently started taking lessons to improve my swing, and this argyle sweater and khaki combo is like quintessential golf attire, <laughs> but obviously like cuter. Like look how cute I am at this golf range. Hello? I also tucked my sweater into my pants and belted it, but I found it limited my movement when I was swinging, so I ended up just taking it off and untucking it. But if I were to wear this outfit as just an outfit and not for golfing, I would definitely wear it tucked in and belted. Like, how adorable. And here's something about this bag that I didn't mention before. This is actually a double bag. So this is the full set. It comes with two bags like this, but as you saw in the previous outfit, you can take one off and just wear it by itself. What I've also done before is taking the strap off completely and just carrying one bag like a little clutch. We do love the versatility. Yes, ma'am. Day three. Today I went to dinner and a movie with one of my besties, so I wanted to be comfortable but still stylish, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I came up with. The main statement piece of this outfit is this flared nylon skirt with a thick patterned waistband, so I wanted to build my outfit around it. The key to styling statement pieces is to build your outfit around the statement item instead of trying to fit the statement item into an already imagined outfit. Let the statement piece speak for itself. Build around it instead of trying to stuff it in there. Put some respect on its name. For the top, I tried wearing just a white long sleeve and then I tried a black long sleeve and it was just missing something. So I decided to opt for this striped top with black and white and then I threw a black blazer on top. I'm wearing these same loafers from day one's outfit, but the reason why I chose to wear black socks instead of white or cream is because there is so much contrast on the upper body with the striped topped and the patterned waistband that I wanted to repeat that contrast on the lower body to make the outfit look more cohesive. So I opted for black socks. And again, the neon bag matches the neon lining on the loafers. So we are looking very intentional and very cohesive girly. Now, a little disclaimer, one thing you need to know about me is that I have to wear pants in a movie theater. I do not like when my bare legs touch movie theater seats, so I brought a pair of sweatpants with me to wear in the theater. <laughs> That's not really relevant to this video, but that is something that you must know about me. Hopefully you were able to take something away from this video and learn how to unlock the full potential of your statement pieces so that you can get more wear out of them. It's always a shame when something is just hanging in your closet and being useless. So hopefully this video will inspire and empower you to finally put that thing on and rock it. And let me know in the comments, which one of these outfits is your favorite and why? Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Kate Spade New York for sponsoring today's video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.